Hi, this is Matt Navar from AppWorks, and this video is going to be a quick integration of the new FM Search Results 5. So this is a really easy process, and it involves just copy and pasting a table, a folder of scripts, and some layout objects to two layouts in your database, and some simple configuration in the script and on those layouts. So I have a sample database here that has 20,000 um, company names in it, and a list view and a detail view, and really nothing else. And right now, I don't have any features in here for searching except the default um, FileMaker stuff. So how do I integrate? Here's step one. You go to uh, Manage Database and choose the Search Results table and copy that to the clipboard. And then paste that into your database. Um, the next step is to uh, make a new layout in this file, a blank layout for each of the tables that you want to search on. So I want to search on the company table. And that layout needs to be called table01. So you make a layout that's blank for each uh, table that you want to search on. Um, so delete the header and footer, because we're going to be putting some objects on there in a little bit. The next step is there's a folder of scripts that I'm going to copy and paste. So I go in here, and I choose my folder, copy that to the clipboard, go into my file, and paste it. The next step is there's some layout objects that call buttons, um, that have buttons that call those scripts that I just pasted in. And so in here, there's two layouts. There's one of them, which is my uh, search layout here. That's this one. So I copy that to the clipboard, those um, objects. And this is the default layout that got made when I created uh, that new table. So I'm going to delete the default objects, delete the footer. And I'm going to take the objects that are in the header and move them up to the header area. And take the uh, body object, which is just one uh, single segment button bar that both displays data and navigates to data, and paste that on there. Then when I go to browse mode, I'm going to switch this layout to be list view, because this is a list layout, a virtual list. OK, the next layout down is my configuration layout. And I'll do a little configuration here. So first of all, I copy these objects to the clipboard and paste them. That will then resize the layout to fit. And I double click on each of these objects that I want to configure. So first of all, you choose your primary key. Second, you choose the fields that you want to display. So in this case, this is going to be a company. So I'm going to certainly show the company name, maybe the address of the company, maybe the city that they're in, and maybe the website. Or company type, actually, maybe even be better. The next thing I'm going to do is uh, choose what fields I'm searching on. So if I choose to search on, of course, the company name and probably the address. I probably don't want to search on other things that are text fields in here. But if I scroll down, I'll see that I have some other dedicated field types to search on. So for example, number fields, decimal fields, um, <clears throat> phone number, email. And I have another field in that I'm interested in, which is date last contacted. So I'll put that one in as well. That's it for the configuration of that layout. The next thing that I need to do is um, go into the configuration of my uh, scripts. So um, in my script, there's one script in here. Um, and it's called, let me open up that folder. It's called integration settings. And in integration settings, I scroll down and I name the friendly names for each of my tables. It just so happens that my first table is also company. And then what I need to do is I have to configure the layout name that I want to navigate to if I click on a detail or on a list for a record. And so on step 40 here, I choose um, this one, and I choose company detail for my detail layout. And then scroll down a little bit, and I would choose company list for my list layout. And there's some other configuration in here, but that's the basics. So I'll save that and close it. Then on my, uh, my search layout that I made, this comes with a little search widget here, which I'll copy to the clipboard. This I paste to all my other layouts that I want to do searches in. But let's just see if my first search works. Works. I'll try a search for ABC, and it works. So there's a search right there that functions for ABC. I can see, by the way, that I made this field a little bit too tall because it's actually showing more information. Um, and I can also configure the, uh, the, how it scrolls so I can make the layout a little bit less wide, and then the widget automatically will grow and shrink to fit. Um, so I'm going to take that widget. And if I click on one of these objects, like company ABC here, that'll actually take me to the detail. And then on my clipboard, I still have that search widget. I'm just going to paste that to the top here. I can also paste that to my company list layout. And so now I've added this Google-style search bar to both of the two layouts in my system. 
And so if I search on, say, tech or app or anything that I want to do, it's actually going to search in the system. That's it for integration. Pretty simple.